Welcome to the first video in a series called Grammar Hacks, where we give you quick and easy tips to help you understand English grammar better. Everyone, meet David. David is not a native English speaker, but David, do you find English grammar super difficult sometimes? Mm, actually, I did pretty well in my last IELTS test. You're right, David. English grammar is super difficult. So today, I'm going to show you guys the two most important types of English grammar. Are you ready? Let's go. All right, so I told you that these are the two most important types of grammar in English, and they are. But they're not exactly types of grammar, they're actually forms of grammar. And these are the simple and the continuous. So I actually lied to you, sorry. Every time you speak in English, you are basically using one of these two forms. So let's look at the simple and continuous forms in the present. So let's look at some present grammar in the simple form because we use it to talk about routines and habits, right? So for example, every day I work. I drink, not that often, I didn't drink too much today. I go to the beach, regular things. We use present grammar in the continuous form to talk about actions which are happening now or these days. For example, I am working a lot these days or I am drinking coffee right now or I'm going to the beach right now. So do we use the simple and continuous forms in the future or the past or the present perfect? Absolutely. So let's show you how to make some sentences in those tenses. Simple tenses always have one main verb and they might have an auxiliary verb. For example, I work. I worked. I will work. Will is the auxiliary verb. I am going to work. I have worked or I had worked. So you can see all of them have one main verb and sometimes there's an auxiliary or helping verb. Continuous tenses always have one main verb, but that verb is always in an ing form, the continuous form. And it always has an auxiliary verb before it, which is the be verb. Let's look at some examples. I am working. I was working. I will be working. I am going to be working. I have been working. I had been working. So remember that in the continuous, we always have a main verb in the ing form. It always has an auxiliary verb, which is the be verb. And sometimes it has another auxiliary verb. All right, so let's look at some examples of some bad sentences. Number one, I am work. This is kind of mixing two things together. They're mixing the simple and the continuous together. Number two, I working. That person forgot the be verb. Sentence sounds bad. Number three, I will worked. This person's probably drunk because that doesn't make any sense at all. Unless you're a time traveler, then it might be okay. Number four, I have been worked. That person is mixing a normal sentence with a passive sentence. Cause, yeah. So just remember that every time you speak, you're gonna be using one of those two forms, the simple form or the continuous form. Got it? All right, so that was an introduction to the two most important grammar forms in English. If you like that, please click the like button or share it with a friend who has horrible grammar. They can thank you for it. Also, what kind of English grammar gives you trouble? Leave us a comment below and tell us what we should do next. All right, well, I guess that's it. That feels better. Now, where's the beach? Ah, David, you're here. We're just going to the beach. You want to come with? Not really. Bye. Don't forget to check us out on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube.